So this video is just going to talk through Notion's thesis planning template um, and this is what it looks like when you pull it up but I'm going to show you how you would find it in the first place. So you would go to your sidebar which is just along the left hand side of your screen and you can either add a page and it'll give you an option to pick some templates or you can go on this template button here and along the right hand side it has all of these different categories and we want to go into the student which is just the second from the top here and down to the thesis planning which we're already on and you can see here it gives you a little view of what it looks like and then you can click use this template and it will load up into Notion like this. So we'll just talk through the timeline first which is the first thing that appears here so this is a database that basically tracks your progress and um, you can add anything on here towards your dissertation. So it might be that you add um, time to do um, field work if that's relevant to your subject, time for lab work, um, time for writing up, any meetings with your supervisors. <clears throat> All of that would go in here. So here they've got exploration and ideation, and then they've added the dates that they're going to focus on that. So they've got all of August, they're going to focus on that. Status, here you can click on, you can see, you can mark it as overdue, upcoming, current, or done. These two sections here are very clever. They allow you to link to any pages you've already made, any documents you've already made in this section here, the sources and no, which is just above the timeline. But I will show you a bit more of that later. <clears throat> and you can also act, um, put here, is it an action or is it a draft? So this when might be a draft if you're coming up to the writing progress, if you're writing up any reports or field work, you can put this in as a draft. And so if I go through an example here, <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to write that I have a meeting with supervisor date. I'm gonna say that it's next Wednesday. So that's upcoming. I don't have any sources or notes yet to do with that, and that's gonna be an action. Something else I add might be uh, draft chapter one and on the date section I'm gonna pick that it has an end date because I want to be writing this between today and the end of the month for example and you can see it kind of organizes them by date which one's coming first which one's last so this is currently what we're doing Sources and notes, don't have any for that yet. And this is gonna be a draft. And now you can go along here at the top, you can view this timeline in a number of different ways. So if I click on the calendar, you can see here what we've just added, that we want to be writing our draft chapter one and our meeting with our supervisor. This is all laid out on the calendar for us, which is quite nice to get a visual sense of what you're meant to be doing. I find myself. And there's just one more view at the top here which is your drafts, and that's for our draft chapter one. So then the next little bit I'm going to show you is this bit at the top here, it just says topics. Now this is another database that basically just allows you to keep track of any ideas you have um, for the actual topic of the research project you're working on. So here they've been working on carbon emissions in small town America, is it fascinating, is it feasible, and they've just used some little tick boxes here, what research question could be involved with that, and here status, is it worth researching, is it not, tags, they've got earth science for these, and then to just add a new one you would go to this bit down here, new one, so let's say I was going to think about gender and politics. 
it fascinating? Yes. Is it feasible? Yeah. It's quite a wide topic, so a possible research question I could have be something to do with um, the gender impact. Your political position. And then I can pick which section I would want it to go in. Am I researching it? I've abandoned it. Or I could add a new one where I'm just thinking about it. And then I would just create here. And that would make a new option I can pick from. And the same again here. This is sociology. And politics, I would say. I've created two new categories there by just typing and then hitting either enter on my keyboard or the little create button that came up. So then if I want to go back to the main page, I can just click, if I go to the top left of my screen here, it kind of shows us that we're already in the thesis planning page and then we've gone into the topics page, which was already in that. So I'm going to go back to the thesis planning. And I'm going to go into the sources and notes section next. And here you can just add new documents anytime that you consult a new source or you want to write some notes from a lecture or a seminar that are relevant. Here you just click on them and they open up and you can see here they've got lots of different properties that you can use to sort and organize them. So here they've stored it as a primary source. You can add the author. If it's from the web, you can add the URL so it's easily accessible. You can pick what type of media source it is. So you could also add in here if they're journals, academic articles, things like that. And then just underneath here is where you would start adding your notes. So then if I go back to the thesis planning, again at the top left of the screen, and I thought, right, that is related to my primary and secondary research. So I'm going to click on this sources section and I'm going to add this document here that we were just playing with. And as you can see here, it's linked that straight into the document. So every time I load up, sorry, load up this document, I will see that those notes are directly related to this section of my research. So what are great about these Notion templates is how customizable they are. So I'm currently using this um, thesis planning for my own dissertation, for my master's dissertation. So this is mine at the top here. And I'm going to show you just some little changes I've made to mine. So I, ch I added a cover picture just because I wanted it to look pretty. Um, let's see. I added an extra page in here just called brainstorming because sometimes I'll just have random ideas come to me and I don't think they're as formal enough to go into a notes document. So I just shove them all into this little brainstorming document. It's not really related to anything else. I just like to have it all in one place, my thesis planning. And I changed the um, notes category here. So if I go back to the Notion one, this is linked to the notes in this database here, but I didn't want that. I just wanted a place to quickly write notes on like where I'm at with um, that section here, ethics. Access Canvas module, for example, remember to keep open-ended to allow for changes later on. So instead of linking to an actual document in my sources and notes, I can just free, free type any notes in here. Also in the sources and notes section, I've changed um, some of the properties inside. So when I click on this, here the properties are a little bit different. So I don't use primary or secondary um, sources because I don't think that's really relevant to me at this stage. Um, I've kept the author, but I don't really use it um, because I've added the hub, I've added my own property at the bottom. 
And it was just a text property and I've named it Harvard Reference so that I can add in my references here and now so that when it comes up to write my bibliography, I already have them ready. And I did that just by clicking add property text and I just named it Harvard Ref. And then I can just type in here whatever I need. Yeah, the, I think this um, template's really useful. It doesn't have to be used for projects as big as a dissertation or a thesis. It would work for anything from a small research project to assignments to group work, really. Um, it's just all about using your imagination and making it your own.